Cutting across for the latest to Hisar at this point of time, as we speak, security has been tightened outside self-styled godmen of Haryana Rampal's ashram. Supporters are holding a dharna outside. The rapid action force has been deployed as we speak. Uh, the local police is lifting all the vehicles that have come in and dropped supporters to the ashram of uh, the self-styled godman. These are the visuals coming in from Hisar, an all-out eyeball-to-eyeball confrontation is what we are looking at. I'd like to bring in at this point of time my colleague Ankit Tyagi is joining us on the phone line. Ankit, you know, it does seem that uh, the self-styled godman is using as human shields women and small children. That's what uh, the visuals that you've sent to us depict. What are you looking at? Are we actually now uh, seems to be standing where an open confrontation between the local police and the supporters? That's right, Preeti. In fact, a uh, few thousand women and children are, uh, they have been lined up uh, just in front of the ashram. They are being used as human shield, as you rightly pointed out. The police right now is very strategically moving around the ashram. They are, uh, there is uh, deployment of the police on all sides. And now we also see RAF companies that have been deployed in full right gear. Uh, in fact, uh, the police has been saying that uh, uh, they are, they'll first clear all the vehicles, big and small, uh, a few hundred of them from outside the ashram, so that uh, uh, whenever the, the action takes place, these vehicles uh, could not be used as either shields or could not be torched. Uh, they are trying to, uh, just uh, before uh, uh, you came to me, the SSP of Hitar, he tried to speak again to the supporters of, uh, uh, of the self self Godman Rampal. He tried to tell them that there are women and children they would not want to harm them and he should uh, reach some compromise. That was denied by uh, Rampal's supporter. So uh, as of now, the confrontation uh, and the tension is uh, uh, still as it was uh, uh, since morning. In fact, only building up. And now uh, we see a heavy deployment and the police trying to clear up the area uh, so that uh, they can, if, whenever they decide, take the decisive action. Are negotiations still on Ankit? Backdoor negotiations to maybe broker a deal in a peaceful fashion? Well, what we have learned from sources is that yesterday a few, uh, the BJP MLA, local BJP MLA had also come and tried to broker a deal uh, with, uh, with the self side Godman, but uh, that failed. Still, we have been told that certain influential uh, people from Hisar, certain political leaders, they are trying to still speak to him to avoid any sort of casualties either on the police's side or on the side of their supporters. Because what we are seeing is that uh, the supporters are also armed. They are ready for a confrontation. Uh, in, uh, reports also coming in that there might be, uh, they also might be hiding some guns inside. That is what the, why the police have also uh, asked uh, the MHA, the Haryana police have asked the MHA to provide them drones so that they can clearly take a look and then devise a strategy as to how many people are inside and what sort of a structure is this because uh, from outside what we see there are thousands inside about uh, eight to ten thousand people those who are in and around the ashram apart from that uh, there are multiple layers that this ashram has been built into so the, the police wants to be absolutely sure before they move in but yes uh, it doesn't seem uh, that if uh, the, the supporters of uh, Rampal are relenting and in that case uh, action today or tomorrow in the morning would be imminent. All right, you know, Ankit, stay on with us. Uh, these are live visuals that we are beaming for our viewers right outside uh, the self styled Godman's ashram who's been ch charged for murder and culpable homicide. This is These are the visuals that we are getting in live, filtering in from his side. <laughs> All right, I'd like to cut across uh, back to Ankit Tyagi, who's on the phone line with us, talking us through the latest developing news coming in from Hisar. Ankit, in all of this, uh, as you pointed out, eight to 10,000 supporters right now uh, forming a security ring around his ashram, protecting him. Where is Rampal? Well, uh, the sp spokesperson of Satlok Ashram in the morning came out and said that uh, Rampal has been shifted out of the ashram to a safe uh, location and uh, they said that he's not well, so he has been shifted to a hospital. But the question is, uh, we spoke to the police uh, uh, sources, also senior officials said that there is no way that uh, Rampal would, uh, could have, uh, you know, left the ashram or could have uh, gone anywhere. Uh, there has been barricading on both sides of the road and there is no other way that uh, the self-side Godwin could have 
have uh, used uh, to escape. Uh, but the followers insist that he gives a, he has been kept in a, a secure area. What I've been told by uh, local uh, sources uh, is that uh, uh, there, there is multiple security cordon that uh, his supporters have, uh, in fact, formed. And uh, uh, Rampal is all in is in a room in, in the heart of this ashram, and even outside there, are, as there are women and children outside. Then there are armed men with lathis and uh, all, all, also wearing helmets and other stuff to protect themselves uh, from the police's uh, uh, bait and charge. They, then there is another ring of uh, women and children and uh, few armed supporters where Rampal is. So uh, it seems that uh, they have uh, dug in their heels. It's a very well-planned operation that uh, the Satlok Ashram uh, has uh, so far shown. They were prepared for uh, a confrontation and as of now they, do, uh, they are not relenting. No signs of uh, the tension here easing out. You know Ankit, uh, stay on with us uh, at this point of time. Coming right back to you for the latest updates but where uh, Ankit was saying taking off from there, the standoff. All right, let's listen in. The police giving in some instructions at this point of time. Let's listen in on what they are saying. All right, the police making an announcement at this point of time uh, for the supporters of Rampal that have heavily cordoned off the area, of course, also using binoculars to ascertain uh, the kind of numbers that they are dealing with at this point of time. Uh, announcements being made, and th that's, that's the small aircraft uh, which is hovering around the Satlok Ashram, trying to take stock of the numbers that are inside. Uh, it's a huge task cut out. The Rapid Action Force also right now uh, been fielded and that, those are the visuals of that small aircraft taking stock of the situation in terms of the numbers that are inside the ashram. Uh, as Ankit was pointing out, we are looking at not less than eight to 10,000 people. would like to once again cut across uh, to Ankit who is talking us through the latest. Ankit, we just heard the local police making some announcements for the supporters. Can you take us through what they were saying? In fact, uh, the man you heard and saw on your screens was uh, the SSP of uh, Hisar. Uh, making an announcement saying that uh, the administration uh, is directing people to vacate this ashram as soon as possible. He also said that uh, arrangements will be made for uh, all the followers who decide to leave uh, to be uh, taken from here uh, to, uh, to the bus stand and the railway station and not, and uh, no police uh, uh, you know, prosecution or action would be taken against them if they leave voluntary. They also sent out a warning saying that uh, there is a non-available warrant that has been issued against uh, the self-style Godman and if people uh, try and uh, uh, prevent the police from discharging their duty then action would be taken against them also they will also be prosecuted so police are trying the persuasion and of course also trying to warn them uh, so that uh, uh, the, the, all these supporters uh, can relent in fact I spoke to senior police officials they said that their only worry they're ready for action there are only two worries that they have as of now a they do not want to harm the women and children those who are outside and also B they said that we have also heard rumors that there are uh, weapons inside and uh, we would not like to put our men in danger of direct firing uh, from inside uh, uh, if they have to take action but the police uh, uh, still is saying that uh, they are ready for all eventualities mm -hmm. they have adequate numbers and uh, very soon they would be able uh, to clear this standoff you know Ankit stay on with us uh, reactions coming in at this point of time let's listen in uh, to the legal counsel of Rampal वो संत रामपाल कानून में विश्वास रखते हैं कोर्ट की बहुत ज्यादा रिस्पेक्ट करते हैं वो बहुत बीमार हैं वो चल फिर नहीं सकते सरकार गवर्नमेंट ने भी एक मेडिकल सर्टिफिकेट पिछली डेट पे बोर्ड ऑफ डॉक्टर्स का पेश किया था कोर्ट के अंदर कि जी उसकी उनकी तबीयत खराब है बीमार है आ नहीं सकते तो मान्य अदालत ने उसको रिजेक्ट कर दिया वो तो कोर्ट के ऑर्डर है उनको हम कमेंट नहीं कर रहे परंतु ट्रुथ मैं जो आज बता रहा हूँ आपको की वो बीमार है कोर्ट में उनका पूरा विश्वास है और जैसे ही ये उनकी तबीयत ठीक होगी वो खुद कोर्ट में पेश होंगे ये मैंने आज भी कोर्ट में रिक्वेस्ट किया ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द स्टेट ऑफ हरियाणा द एडवोकेट जनरल फाइल्ड एन एफिडेविट ऑफ द डीजीपी हरियाणा दैट एनी इमीडिएट अटेम्प्ट टू अरेस्ट बाबा रामपाल वुड रिजल्ट इन कैजुअलिटीज 
and therefore the state and the police are trying to devise ways and means to implement the court's order without any casualties. Counsel for Baba Rampal said that he was unwell, he was bedridden and while he wants to come to court because of his health he could not do so. In case the state government regardless of the consequences of the casualties of the cost for any reason fails to secure Baba Rampal and produce him under arrest before the High Court in three days by Friday, notice of contempt under Section 12 of the Contempt of Courts Act must also issue in that event to the Chief Minister Haryana who holds charge